What's up guys, my name is Kelvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I recently just caught a species of robber fly. This is a pretty large robber fly um, as far as robber flies go. I'm going to attempt to get bitten by it. I recently, not too long ago, a few days ago actually, just got bitten by a robber fly for the first time, completely accidental. Uh, I caught it and I went to go readjust my fingers um, to try to get a better grip and it actually bit me and it wasn't that bad at all it actually surprised me how much the swelling went up uh, the pain wasn't too bad but the swelling was pretty big so I'm going to try to now recapture that um, and get it on camera so without further ado <laughs> let's get right into the video Alright, so before I go ahead and get envenomated by this robber fly, I just wanted to just give some brief general information about robber flies. So robber flies belong to the family known as Acilidae, and there are approximately over 6,000 different species of flies within this family. family. Now, a lot of people unknowingly mistaken robber flies as mosquitoes, um, but they are not mosquitoes like mosquitoes that you know feed on blood well the females at least robber flies are carnivorous and feed on insects and other arthropods they have incredibly great eyesight so what they do is <laughs> just to give an example they will fly and rest and land on a perch something like this and they will be on the lookout for moving prey and then once they spot something, they will fly over to it and scoop it up like a hawk. And those hairs that are on their legs, you see those hairs? They kind of act as a cage and will leave the insect kind of uh, ensnared in those hairs. And then they will fly it back to another perch. Let's say, I don't know, <laughs> something like this. And then they will literally feed on the insect that they call it on the perch now the way they feed on the insect is pretty interesting so its mouth part which is that little snub thing right there that is uh the robber fly's hypopharynx the hypopharynx will actually pierce through the exoskeleton of its prey and inject saliva that is laced with venom and the venom will do two things it will first paralyze its prey leaving it completely immobilized and unable to escape and the second thing that it'll do is it'll digest its insides its literal internal tissues and deteriorate them they become dissolved and so because there's no species of fly that has mandibles or other type of uh, other types of chewing mouth parts the robber fly the only thing that it can do is suck its prey and so it has has to dissolve the insides of its prey's body in order to be able to properly feed on it. So it will literally drink the insides of its prey's body, which is pretty cool. Now, if you're familiar with assassin bugs, assassin bugs will pretty much feed on the exact way that robber flies do. The assassin bug does not have a hypopharynx. Instead, its mouth part is called a rostrum, which is a beak-like mouth part that it'll use to pierce the exoskeleton of its prey and inject venom that both paralyzes and liquefies the insides of its prey's body, which it'll then drink out. Basically, just like how the robber fly does. Now, like I said earlier, robber flies feed on various insects and other arthropods such as spiders, but there are some species of robber flies that are pretty large, much larger than the one that I'm holding right now, such as Mellifora lichenalti, which is the Beazelbub bee killer robber fly. I'll actually put a picture up of it so you know what it looks like, but those robber flies have actually been known to feed on hummingbirds, believe it or not. So yeah, anything is fair game for robber flies. If they can capture it and subdue it with its venom, then it will be food for the robber fly. So things like hummingbirds, no problem for some species. Speaking about the size difference of robber flies, check out this little guy that I just caught. This is by far one of the smallest species of robber flies that I've ever caught. And I love the bright gold uh, CT or the hair that covers its body. It's so pretty, especially in the sunlight and those bluish green eyes. <laughs> so cute. 
I'm gonna let this one go. There it goes. So really quickly, I just want to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand, colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European Hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. Alright, so now, let's get bitten by this robber fly. And as you can see, it's actually pushed out some of its uh, saliva that is laced with venom. It's kind of expelled some. So, all right, here we go. Uh, look at it right here. This would be a good spot. Oops. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, the robber fly I was telling you about that bit me a few days ago that left some pretty decent size swelling. Um, yeah, it's nothing like this one. Uh, it was a different species, but this one that's biting me, it's like leaving small little size circle swellings. Um, yeah, I mean, the one that bit me, it bit me once. It was at least this big, I'm not even joking. Um, yeah, this one is is not as potent or just i don't really know its venom is uh kind of on the lower end of the spectrum i don't know but i mean there you have it i guess i was kind of hoping for something a little bit more spectacular but you know i guess this will have to suffice for now <laughs> unless I go and find another one and redo this, but uh, yeah. All right, so because that last robber fly that I tried to bite myself with was not the expectation I was expecting, I actually let it go and went on the hunt to find another robber fly. This robber fly is slightly larger in size as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so I am hoping for a better <laughs> reaction um, for my body and from the last one all right as you can see it is slightly larger which is pretty cool and let's do this uh, I'll go right here this time and this one is wasting no time and biting me Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I actually feel this one this time. The other one was <laughs> was not that strong. Holy crap. <laughs> no, this one, not that painful. Just, you know, average, I guess. The last one was, I, I couldn't even chart that one. To be honest, it was very, very weak. Yeah, nothing. Nothing too crazy. It's nothing like a wasp, uh, a sting from a wasp or anything. Um, if I would be able to describe it, it's it's kind of oh there you can really see the uh, hypopharynx right there. That lower end of it, the skinnier end, is the hypopharynx. That is the sharp, piercing appendage, mouth part that can go through flesh, exoskeletons and then inject venom. But if I could describe the pain, it would be like, uh, kind of like a irritating itchiness followed with some burning, like a burning sensation, um, and then some mild swelling as well. 
All right, so I think it has done enough. So I think I'm gonna take it away now and just see how my hand reacts within a few minutes to the venom. All right, this one is a tricky one to kind of see because <laughs> both the first and second robber fly bit the top of my hand. So the swelling just kind of all formed into one, kind of like a, like a ball. So my hand is puffy, <laughs> which is okay. But the initial bite though did give a pretty uh, decent sized swelling um, right there. You could see that. So that one is pretty noticeable. But as for the rest, it all just kind of came together. And now my hand is puffy. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, all in all, wasn't too bad. The one I got bit by a few days ago, oh my gosh, I wish, <laughs> wish I got that recorded completely by accident. And of course, I mean, the swelling was like, I'm not even joking, like this big. Um, but yeah, all in all, was not bad at all. <laughs> so that's going to conclude today's video. If you have any questions about robber flies or just questions in general, just leave them in the comment section and I will try to do my best to answer them. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon and turn on those notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, KelvinWiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video.